Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? This is the Ninja Gamer of the Ninja Gamer 101, and today welcome to a very, very special video that is surrounding Sonic's history with me. Uh, this is going to be a very, very special video because um, I'm doing this in one take, but this is basically my way of celebrating his uh, 26th anniversary, so I'm basically going to tell you guys my full history with Sonic the Hedgehog, so uh... Yeah, like I said, this is going to be in one take, so just sit back and enjoy the ride. So anyways, let's go ahead and begin at the very, very beginning, which was with uh, Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Mega Collection. Um, I started out with the GameCube, so I got SA2 and Sonic Mega Collection for Christmas one year. I don't remember when specifically it was, but I remember that I opened up the... Uh, I opened up the gifts and I was just like, who is this? Because previously I had only been playing like a whole bunch of Crash Bandicoot games. So I saw the box art and stuff like that. And then I decided that Sonic Adventure 2's of course looks way, way better. So of course I played that first. So I played through that game and that, that was honestly a very, very, very good choice that my mom and dad had made for me for my um, good Christmas or whatever because I loved that game to death. Like I remember when I first got into City Escape and heard that rolling around at the speed of sound. I, I just, I just, oh my god, I remember the feeling it felt so, so very awesome. And I remember all the time trying to get my sisters into the room just so we could like jump on the bed and just like sing to the song because it was so catchy man like we loved that game to bits and then after i played through sa2 i um i put sonic mega collection into the disc and stuff like that and i played that and as you guys know it has sonic one two and three i, be I believe either three or knuckles i don't remember which one it is but i played those games and of course i started with sonic one it was a good game, but it wasn't my favorite. And then I played Sonic 2. I fell in love with that. Sonic 3 was a little bit too hard for me for whatever reason because I kept on trying to go in the big, uh, the big rings, and then I kept on failing. So I just said, "Screw that game." But yeah, I went back to Sonic 2. And then I played that, and then I just, I, I kept on playing that again and again and again and again because that game was like, although it was pretty short. It was also pretty fun for me because it had many different zones. You could have the spin dash, which made, which, eh, which made you very, very, very fast. And if you could use it to your advantage, you could do very good speedruns. Which, funnily enough, that was the first game I ever tried to speedrun on my own. And I didn't even know what a speedrun was, so yeah. Funnily enough, I turned into the speedrunner I am today. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much... The beginning of my history with Sonic the Hedgehog. Now we're moving on to the Game Boy Advance. After I got the GameCube and I got uh, tired of that, my mom and dad decided to get me a GameCube. I'm uh, not GameCube. Game Boy Advance for my birthday, which uh, is in February. So it was only like two months uh, later. So it was it was pretty recent after I beat those games. So. When I got the Game Boy Advance, I got Sonic Advance 2 and Sonic Advance 3. I, I of course began with Sonic Advance 2, and it was a pretty good game, although I couldn't really um, get into it because I always got confused in the hub world. Like, where am I supposed to go? Where, where are all these acts? Like, I, I, just, I just could not get into it. And then I moved on to Advance 3, and it was pretty much the same thing, but somehow I got through that. And I never actually, funnily enough, I never actually uh, beat that game. But I will say that I had a lot of fun with what I did play. As you could do a whole bunch of tricks, you had a whole bunch of speed, it rewarded you, it just felt like the perfect Sonic game. Like, And then I, I actually am just now re remembering this, but I remember after playing that, I was just like, wait, what does Sonic even mean? So I looked it up, and finally enough, it meant like high speed. So I was just like, oh, great, nice, 10 out of 10. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much my history with that and the GameCube. I am not GameCube. Uh, Game Boy Advance era. So moving on a few years later, 
I had been playing those games like SA2, Mega Collection, Advance 2 and 3 for so, so, so very long. And then I got a Wii for my next Christmas, I believe? Yes, I, I got a Wii. So with that, I got Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. I played uh, Black Knight first because the cover looked freaking awesome. So I played that. Yeah, I loved being able to swing a sword around and stuff like that. Like, I never really understood the story until I was a little bit older. But I could say that I definitely enjoyed this game a lot. Like, it wasn't the best because it still had somewhat motion controls, I believe. But uh, it was a pretty good game nonetheless. Then I went to play Secret Rings and... I, I was sorely disappointed because it was not like Black Knight at all, and go figure, it was the first game before Black Knight, so of course it was bad with motion controls and stuff. So after I played like the first few levels, I just dropped that game and just just left it to be dead because I, I pretty much hated the controls in that game. I could not get into it at all whatsoever, and it was just, just no man, I, I could not do it. So anyways. A few months after that was when I first started uh, being able to save up money because, as you guys know, sometimes your mom and dad give you like money for a present. So I started saving up money, and then I knew that a game called Sonic Unleashed was coming out, and the only system I had that it was compatible with was the Wii. So I saved up my money. I saved up like I think it was forty dollars or something like that, and then I got myself my very first game on my own, Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. I played that for so, so very long, and let me just tell you guys, that is still one of my favorite games, even though the controls are pretty horrible in that game, and it's somewhat motion controls, I believe, like the homing attack is, I think, I don't know. But anyways, I fell in love with that game because of the different, um, the different arenas and stuff, and then I knew that this was like literally based off of the world that we're in today like it didn't have Empire City or Missouri but I didn't even know those were in any uh, stages in the other game so I wasn't really phased by that but I speeded through so much of that game and I speed ran that as well and I remember having so much fun with it like seriously that is still one of my favorite games to this day and then when I got to the final boss that was the first game that I had actually like um, that I had actually like beat on my own because I, because I actually had to have help like from my friends with SA2 and Mega Collection and all that different stuff. But this was the first game I actually beat on my own. It took me a while, but I beat it on my own, and I did it with uh, Dark Gaia, and it just felt pretty good to play. I just loved it to bits. And then after that was when I got Sonic Colors. This game was a game that was based on an amusement park or whatever with Eggman Land or whatever. I don't even know. But yeah, I loved this game as well. And unlike uh, most people, I actually look, kind of liked the Wisps in the game because it gave him more powers. It made you feel like, I don't know, I guess special or whatever. I don't know. And you had extra powers. You could do uh, different stuff like use Frenzy to get into different uh, blocks or whatever, eat them up or maybe a rocket to propel yourself in the air. I just loved that uh, gameplay style. And I wasn't phased by the 2D at all because I had just been playing like Advance 2, 3, and Mega Collection all the time. So I just loved the, loved the uh, 2D and I was not phased by that at all, unlike the Sonic fan base. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my history with Sonic Colors. But when I got to the end of the game, let me just tell you guys right now, I struggled I struggled a lot on that, but uh, I eventually beat it. And then the ending of that game was just so touching to me. Like, I don't know why. Like, maybe because I was, like, such a young kid. But, like, I seriously was just like, oh my god, did he just lie? But nope, because plot, yay. So, yeah, that's pretty much colors. So then, after that, a few, uh, I want to say about a year later, I got a Nintendo DS for my birthday, I think. No. I got the Nintendo DS for Easter, actually. Never mind. I got it for an Easter present. 
So I got the Nintendo DS, and with that, I got Super Mario 64 DS and Sonic Rush. Me already having a history with Sonic Rush, I had already uh, chosen to play Sonic Rush first. And I just loved that game as well because you had the boost, you had different tricks, sort of like in advance, but it was way better because you had the boost and you could do uh, different different uh, speedruns with it and stuff. And it felt very rewarding to be able to speed through uh, different stuff and, like, you know, just, just regular. And plus, I had just played uh, Unleashed, so I was very used to those boosts, especially in 2D, so. That was that was pretty lit for me, honestly. I loved that game, and I never really beat it until I was actually like, I want to say 10 or 11 years old. I got this game when I was seven, so yeah. Uh, but I loved the game to bits. Then after that, I remember on going back onto the Wii. I um I got a gift from my aunt uh, for some kind of holiday. I think it was. Christmas or Easter or my birthday. I don't really remember what day it was, but I remember that she gave me Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. And uh, before I played Olympic Games, of course I had played my share of a few Mario games because I had Super Mario 64 DS, and then I also had Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii, so I had of course played that. And um, I knew the background of these guys, I knew that they were rivals. So it was pretty, pretty surprising that they would actually go to the Olympic Games together. So I played this game a lot with my friends and family, and we just had a good, good time with this. Like the version I played was on, of course, on the Wii because that's the most popular. And it had no story mode, but it had a whole bunch of different events that you could do. And I loved being able to play with Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles, or Mario, Luigi, Waluigi, whatever all in the same exact game. It just felt amazing to me. And that's why I put it in this list right here. So the next game I played that was uh, Sonic related was on the 360, which was actually my uh, my first like modern console, I guess you could say. So Sonic Adventure Director's Cut. This game was uh, one of my favorites because you had different characters, you had the spin dash in 3D. It was his first jump into 3D, not counting 3D Blast because that was just a horrible game. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, you had different characters, you had the spin dash, you had a good story. It was just pretty good. Uh, I, th I think I was able to beat this when I was younger, like the first try. I, I don't really remember getting any game overs either, either because uh, this game was pretty easy. It wasn't too hard. Like, there weren't any, uh, you know, like, bottomless pits or whatever. You, like, you, well, actually, no. No, let me take that out. There were, there were a whole bunch of overs. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I played this a lot and stuff like that, so. Yeah! Moving on from there, we have Sonic Generation 3DS and Xbox 360. I got the 360 version first because uh, it looked better to me and of course I loved the uh, way it looked in the trailer. So I got that and it basically played the same as Unleashed in Colors. So I played that and I had the boost, I had the stomp. I just really loved uh, speedrunning through this game and it was the same for the 3DS version, it was just in 2D. So yeah, it was also a throwback to different uh, stages that I had seen before. Which was really, really cool to me because I had never seen this done before. Not only in a Sonic game, but also in any game I'd ever played in general. So, it was a pretty good throwback for me. After this, uh, I went to Sonic Lost World 3DS and Wii U. I got the 3DS version first, funnily enough. And I hated that version. So I almost didn't play the Wii U version, but I gave it a try, try anyway. And I wasn't disappointed because although most people do not like this game, I actually did. I loved the uh, way that it felt kind of like the adventure games to where you had the spin dash in 3D. And it was pretty much a full, wait, no. It wasn't a full 3D yet, free, bleh, 3D game, but it was it was half and half, half 3D, half 2D. So it wasn't overly done, it, it felt pretty good. Also it was a very polished game as there weren't any uh, glitches that could really mess you up all that much. Except for uh, in that snow level, like I 
hated that snow level when you turned into that snowball or whatever. And I think most of the fan base will agree with me. So, yeah. Okay. This last Sonic game that I'm going to talk about is, of course, you guys probably didn't see this coming. But I'm talking about Unleashed again. But this time, it's on this, uh, the Xbox 360. So, funnily enough, I got this with my Gamefly ex subscription. And I played it, and it felt the same as Wii version, except way better, as you could sp speed run a lot better, you had a consistent boost instead of having to keep on doing it. It just felt pretty polished in my opinion. It also looked very, very, very beautiful, which made me wonder why I didn't get this game in the first place. And then I went to, um, my Gamefly subscription expired, but since I love this game so much, I saved my money up, and then I got this game again, this time for good. And let me just tell you guys right now, this is still, to this day, my favorite Sonic game of all time. So, yeah, I, I speedrun this game a lot. And then later on, when I actually uh, started playing it even more, and looked up on YouTube and stuff, I found out that this, there was this glitch called M-Speed, D-Speed, and QSS, which made the gameplay even faster. So I loved having that, like seriously, especially when I actually learned it. I never abandoned it again, like seriously, that was just lit. And this was recently too, so uh, yeah. But that's pretty much it with my history with Sonic. I'm looking forward to the future with Mania and Forces. Mania looks like a very, very, very good throwback to the classic games. And Forces looks like an epic action-packed action game that I will definitely enjoy. And I'm still hype, uh, more hype for it than I am with Sonic Mania. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's pretty much it with this video. Uh, this was pretty short, but... I thank you guys so much for staying to the very end and listening to my history with Sonic, even though it wasn't really all that scripted and stuff like that. So I'm sorry for the, I'm good. I'm sorry for the no script or anything, but that's just how it is, and I wanted to get this out and just uh, have it out and have you guys listen to my history with Sonic. So, anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up, and uh, yeah. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Peace, my name is Bam, and take care. Happy birthday, Sonic.